Hello, I'm Dr. Julian Northbrook from doingenglish.com. English exhaustion is a very real problem, and if left unchecked, it will cause you immense amounts of pain and frustration in the long term in all areas of your life. Back in the day, when I was working in a school in Japan, all in Japanese, largely because of some kind of administrative screw-up which had landed me, a non-Japanese speaker, in a school where they'd requested specifically a Japanese speaker, I was absolutely exhausted all the time, shattered from the second I woke up in the morning to the time I went to bed at night, because every ounce of my energy was constantly being drained by the grueling process of trying to comprehend and be comprehended in my second language, of just desperately trying to get my job done properly in a second language. Not to mention the constant thoughts that would come to my mind, remembering the mistakes that I'd made, the screw-ups, the stupid things that I'd said, that shudder that runs up your spine as you remember something and cringe, something that maybe happened an hour ago, maybe happened yesterday, maybe happened weeks ago, months ago, in some cases even years ago. That is so exhausting. And the problem was, when I got home from work every evening, I wasn't fit for anything anymore apart from collapsing on the sofa in a vain attempt at trying to recover some of my energy. But I couldn't do that. I had a wife and I had a kid. My wife needed her time, the kid need pl needed playing with, looking after, household stuff had to be done. And I will admit that I got quite pissed off, very, very frustrated, not at the fact that I was expected to do these things, but at the fact that I just felt like I had nothing left to give. It had all been bled out of me during the working day. And it was a problem. It created problems in my relationship, but also in my working day, because I became that person who was a pain in the ass to have to deal with, because he's going to misunderstand. He's going to say things in a way that nobody understands, and people avoided me. It made my working life hell, and it made my home life hell. Now, there's a good chance you feel exactly the same in English. And if you do, know that left unchecked, the problem will not get better. You are going to have to invest some time and energy now into fixing the problem so that, that barrier disappears. Think of it like doing exercise. If you never exercise and you're very unhealthy, you won't have as much energy as you could. The thought of exercising is going to be hard because you don't have any energy. But until you start doing the exercising, you won't actually get to the point where you do have energy. It's exactly the same. You're going to have to fix your English problems if you want to remove that exhaustion from your day-to-day -day life and with it all of the other problems that are going to arise because of it. Now, if you want my English exhaustion prevention plan, head over to doingenglish.com slash free training and study the free one-hour training that I put together. It's going to teach you the five key changes that you need to make to fix this problem as quickly and easily as possible. This is me, Julian Northbrook, signing out from another video. Speak to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.